There's a clear tension, very clear tension, and, and I think we are experiencing the, the tension in, in the Commission between, on one hand, new challenges that, are, that should be responded collectively, new responsibilities of the European Union stemming from the Lisbon Treaty. On the other hand, we have this, the atmosphere of austerity and very, very painful cuts in, in the member states. What is also a new development, not anticipated before, but now influencing the future of, of European budget is the link between the European budget, that is still around 1% of GDP, 2.5% of the public spending in the European Union, with the economic developments. We are now a collateral for the loans, not only for the non-Eurozone countries, as it was before, uh, up to 50 billion euro, but the European budget is now a collateral for the eventual loans to the Eurozone countries under the stabilization mechanism yeah. that is for 60, up to 60 billion euro. I am not now to, to discuss the, whether the, the stabilization mechanism is a temporary or permanent, but for sure this is clearly uh, has influence uh, as to the, uh, as to the uh, shaping of European budget. And for sure, European budget via the sanctions, via the stick and carrot mechanism, uh, will be more uh, used in reinforcing stability and growth pact. I, I think that the future negotiations are difficult enough not to have taboos and we have opened the issue of, uh, of the revenue side of the European Union, um, uh, saying also that this, the own resources was the original idea of the founding fathers, and this is more in the spirit of European treaties. However, I am fully conscious what does it mean to put, how provocative even it is uh, to seek the alternatives and uh, opening discussion oh, also what is not in the mid-term review over the UK rebate, which is, which is now uh, placed in different uh, historical and economic surrounding that it was at the time of Margaret Thatcher.